Christina from Redefine Creative and I am back with my next layout in the For the Love of Homemade Kit series and this is the last layout using the September kits. Um, so this weekend on Sunday you will see us all reveal our October kits. And this is a series that I'm working on with Felicia, Megan, Sarah, and Hannah. And so we use a common kit that we have created to follow the... Follow a recipe, use an inspiration piece, and then show you what we create with our kit. So I am using this amazingly beautiful Millie and June um, paper, pattern paper, and I'm just going to use the diagonal part of it. So I'm kind of using my cardstock template to help me cut that line. And this is that paper that is white with some little tiny blue hearts on it. And I love this paper, so I definitely wanted to save that other half. So I'm going to tuck that away and use it on something else. And then I'm going to go ahead and put this paper on the diagonal and just use white as the other half. And I am combining two of my favorite go-to designs today. So I am combining this half of a page diagonal. And then I am also using a kind of a grid design with these circles. And so I just took my circle punch and punched out a bunch of the different papers from the Amy Tan collection that was in my kit. And then I also went back, I had a 12 by 12 paper that I had pulled out, and you can see it in my original kit video, that was like a pink distress paper, but then it also had a bunch of cut-aparts on the back. And those cut-aparts are actually where all those word phrases came from. So fearless, let's do this, and so very happy. And then I'm going to take one of my favorite Tim Holtz Distress inks, which is the Blueprint Sketch, and I'm going to go around the entire outside edge of this layout, and it just brings in that really bright blue color and ties everything together. So I've taken my nine circles, arranged them in my grid through the middle of my page, and then I've also added that di diagonal pattern paper to kind of add some interest back there. And all I'm working with today are three little photos that they were originally squares, and I cut them into circles. And they're just kind of leftover pictures. So I had used a bunch of small squares on a different grid project, and I had all these pictures left. And I didn't want to just not scrapbook them because they are an important part of this Hawaiian vacation. Uh, so there you see, I had the one picture that had sand in it with my son, and so I wanted to include some wood veneer elements to kind of make it so that that picture didn't stand out as something strange and different. So I went ahead and added the two little banners, the star and the frame in that wood veneer to kind of tie in with the sand. And I did take my Amy Tan Thick and Thin letters and use that blueprint sketch to make them blue to match my layout. And to me, that is the beauty of buying thickers in white, is I can make them anything. I can make them match any layout I want, um, even if I don't want white. And so you'll see throughout, if you go back and watch this whole series this month, that I've actually done that a few different times where I've taken those letters and made them a color that matched all the other elements. And so there you see I'm playing with some of those little puffy stickers, and I was trying out the clouds, but I'm actually going to end up going with a camera up there. And then I've added some enamel dots in a couple different places, and you're going to see me go back and add a few more. And I also grabbed my Tiny Word stickers um, from the Chit Chat collection from Tim Holtz, and I added two different phrases to each of the pictures of my kids. And that's just going to kind of tie everything together. And I'm trying to decide here if everything's finished, and I decided to add a few more enamel dots. And then I was trying to decide if I wanted to pull in one of those clouds, because I think the clouds are adorable, and I really wanted to get them on this layout, but they don't end up making the cut. Um, so that's really going to be the final layout. It was super quick and easy to pull together. It has a high impact. The colors look great. And I'm really happy with using up a bunch of the remainders of this kit. Sometimes the last week is a little challenging. Do make sure you check out what Hannah, Megan, Felicia, and Sarah have created with their last layout of this kit. And we'll be back this weekend with our new October kits. Bye!